Hi everyone, Brenda Summers, Independent Sunsy Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over my Sunsy Club hauls. I have two of them, one at the one month mark and then the other at the two month mark. They just happened to arrive at the same time the other day, so I'm happy to be sharing these with you. I really pared down my Sunsy Club quite a bit. Um, I just get just enough to hit the $79 threshold for Canada in order to qualify for a half price item. And one month I decided to do a Sensei Club brick and then another month I did the whiff box. So that's how I get my whiff box and my bricks for half off. Welcome if you're new to my channel. If you're wondering what the heck a Sensei Club is, it's nothing but goodness. It's a great subscription that Sensei has at no cost to you. They have them at one month, two month, and three month intervals. So you can either do three Sensi clubs or you can just do one at your leisure. And then um, right now I'm working on two just because, like I said, I like the benefits of the half off um, items. Once I um, am finished with the half off items, then I'd probably close down my Sensi Club unless it's got wax that I can't get again. And another benefit is that while well, you have a Sensi Club, like I said, no charge to you, you will always get my bar. So if it's a limited time offer or if it's a bring back my bar offer, retired scent offer, you can put it in your Sensi Club and get it while your Sensi Club is open. As soon as you close your Sensi Club, unfortunately, you you lose all those bars and um, it's up to you. A lot of people have a lot of retired and limited time offer bars in there, um, etc. that they can't get. Again, I only use my Sensi Club for my very, very favorites or if I want to get 10% off of something. So how Sensi um, Club works is you open up a subscription at the $40 mark, you get 10% off your whole order. And then at $79 threshold, these are Canadian prices, you get um, your choice of half um, price item. And usually people go for the higher price items like with um, Sensi Whiff tubs, which are a lot of money, um, bricks, and um, what else? Oh, whiff boxes. <laughs> so that's what I use my Sensi Club for. And um, without further ado, I'm going to open my first month Sensi Club with you. And um, it's got a lot of goodies that I like. Um, these, cl these clubs right now, I put in bars that I can get. But like I said, I like the 10% off. So, and I was in no rush to get them. It's not like I bought a Sensi Buddy to go with them or whatnot. So, this is this box, which is huge, huge. And then I'll open it. So, Sensi always knows how to pack their boxes really, really well. And um, I've had no problems with a box or with a product being smashed or anything thus far so I'm really happy about that and then here we go you should get an itemized list and then miles and miles of paper of course the way Sensi rolls so use my paper so, do I have a product in here? I hate when they do this because then I throw out products that should be thrown out. Okay, yep, they sure did. Okay. Ugh. Is that what I was supposed to get? Um, with box. Yep. Yep. Yep, okay, I got everything. So, like I said, I ordered this. This is Jack's Obsession. I know I can still get it right now, but as soon as it goes off the limited time offers, 
it'll be in my Scentsy Club and I will always have it. I love this wax and I love the pictures on it. And then it's like a greeny, limey wax and it is so nice. It's nice for the fall. It's not overly done apple or cinnamon. It's a very, very nice scent. Um, Eureka, this cauldron full of apple spiced and clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulish grand brew. So I wouldn't worry about the spices in it. It's not overly done, like I said. It hums in the background and it lasts at least four days in my open concept. Same with my warmers. I might get a little bit more out of it depending on the warmer. It does depend on the warmer. Um, some warmers, like the tin um, warmers, um, melt at a certain rate. The glass warmers melt at a certain rate. And then the ceramic warmers melt at a certain rate. rate. Sorry. <laughs> I find that the glass warmers aren't as warm as the ceramic warmers and the tin warmers are just just as good as a ceramic um, but not quite it's not quite up there yet so uh, I don't know um, maybe the tin warmer is up with the glass warmer I really I have angel wings as a tin warmer and I'm really happy with the throw and performance so to me it's just like having a ceramic warmer so there, <laughs> there's my opinion on that. So part of my Sensi Club, um, Club One, is um, Jack's Obsession. And then I can't get enough of Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is a lovely, lovely scent. It's strong for a Disney scent. And wow, this is as good in the pods as it is in the um, wax. If you're wondering what the heck I have in my hand, these are called pods and they come with scented beads and that's what they look like. And if you put them near a heat source, they will melt. So you don't want to do that. This is part of our um, fan diffuser sets items. So if you don't want to melt wax, you can get a wall fan diffuser. Um, you have very... Um, I was going to say you have a vast quantity or vast array of um, diffusers right now. You have Black Panther. It's a limited time offer. Then you have Spider-Man one. You have the two princesses. And then you have the normal um, Scentsy one. Spin, Star, and I forget the other one. Stack, I believe. And then you have the option of having one with a light underneath. So... And then if you have a Scentsy Go, you can put pods in that. And then with our new purifying um, system, air purifier, I should say, you have the option of putting two pods on the top as it purifies your air. So um, as it's purifying your air, you get scent out of it. So that, that's a great way to use your pods. So I love this. Mickey Mouse and Friends, I find it to be one of the stronger Disney scents. Disney scents usually is a little bit um, lighter than most, but this one is a heavy hitter in my books. Um, where is it? Oh, celebrate everlasting friendship with a fragrance almost as sweet thanks to Georgia Peach. Actually, it's scented by pops of orange and vanilla. You really do get the Georgia peach coming through. That's the strongest out of them all. And then you do get the orange peel towards the middle and then the vanilla towards the back end. So I really, really love it. My husband loves it. So that's it. That's all I have to say about <laughs> Mickey and Friends. It's a good one. It's a good one in wax as well. And then I decided to add to my bricks as well as I love this scent so much and when I saw it in the Scentsy Club wax selection I, I jumped for joy it squeezed the day so this is what I'm talking about if you're wondering um, it's a Scentsy Club brick and as long as you have a Scentsy Club you can get one of these bricks and a brick of this is about five and a half or so bricks of this so you can see it's as big as my friggin head and then 
that. So you're getting about five and a half of those. So this is a nice heavy hitter lemon scent. It's got tart lemons in it. I love it. Squeeze the day. Pucker up lemon lovers. You'll officially found your signature scent this tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream and it's everything and then some the lemons come out the vanilla cream makes it sweet but not overly sweet this is a heavy hitter in my house like you can really smell this and this is what this looks like like wow you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve cubes so wow and that is to die for if you never sm smelt squeeze the day or never had squeeze the day um, you need to open up a club or get at least a little um, squeeze the day bar and try it because it is so delicious and it's really really nice and then my next favorite one and I when I saw this in club I went yes please sea salt and avocado there you go like i said it's as big as my head and then here's what this looks like this is sea salt sea i think it's white sea salt um valenci oranges and creamy avocado um i will read it but there you go that's huge 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 but like I need more wax but of course those are my favorite so I will always have them around I will always have Jack's Obsession around and then the whiff box whiff box I have not watched any other consultants um, channels to see what's in it so I have no clue it's just um, a box full of goodies surprise so I will do a separate video on the whiff box for September. I really don't know what's in it side of it, but I like getting surprises. How about you? And then my next club order is I think my second order. Anyway, it's just, it's a smaller club. Like I said, I take advantage of the deals that Club has to offer and then I don't buy anything at beyond that because it just you don't get anything else beyond the $79 threshold um, too bad that Scentsy um, wouldn't after a certain point after 79 go to another threshold where you could buy um, another half off item and keep going um, it would be easier but that's just my way of thinking um, especially I could combine these two um, subscriptions together instead I have to do them separately so I pay for them separately and that's always been the issue ever since they changed up Sensi Club but what can you do it's still available Sensi Club so can't really complain and then here we go and Guess what I'm liking again? I got another Mickey Mouse and Friends. You know how I feel about that. I got Squeeze the Day Scentsy Pods. Yum, yum, yum. And then I got a Blue Grotto. And Blue Grotto is... I actually didn't like it when I first smelt it. I thought it was like too sweet. too. Uh. But now I am coming around to it. I am starting to like it a little bit more. It's like Luna. I really don't like Luna. Everybody loves Luna. I don't. I still can't get behind that scent. For some reason, it's off-putting. Blue Grotto used to be the same, but I've warmed up to it. So Blue Grotto, run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet cit citrus, and lush botanicals. So I can get behind it now, whereas before, it's like... Back. So that's what the packaging looks like. And it's everything that is described. The wax is just as nice. I find the pods sometimes are a little bit lighter. This is a little bit lighter compared to the wax, but I'm okay with that. And that's what that looks like. And then that's what that looks like. You're going to pay a little bit more for the Disney and the Marvel um, pods. Uh, 
instead of paying, uh, I think, $13 for one, you're paying $16 for one. So just letting you know that they're a little bit more expensive. But to me, the Mickey Mouse and Friends are well worth the extra money. And of course, guess who makes their appearance again? Jack's Obsession. I really, really love this one, like I said. And this one is new to me. Everybody has smelt it. It was last November's scent of the month. I have not smelt this, so I've been dying to smell it. It's Arctic Kiss, and here's what it looks like. It's like a bluey kind of gray kind of wax. And then, wow, I really like it. It's not overly done. Um, it's supposed to have mint in it. Wow, it's stronger on this side. And yes, it is refreshing. I really, really like it. It's not overly strong. I would say light to medium on cold sniffs. I've never melted it. This is the first time that I'm actually experiencing that scent. So I really, really like it, actually. Um, other than my notes. Um, cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. I do get the mint, I do get the fluffy, and I do get a sense of fresh airness to it, like a fresh um, smell. So I'm really, really enjoying that. That'll be nice. Um, November, December time frame. You could probably melt it now, but that's Arctic Kiss. I would highly recommend at least trying it once because it's not off-putting and I actually really like it more than what I thought I would. And then, of course, the Muppets came out. Miss Piggy and Kermit are still available, as well as the wax. So I ended up getting three bars of the Muppet um, wax. As cute as Kermit and Miss Piggy is, I have so many Scentsy Buddies that I can't possibly buy them all. I grew up with the Muppets. My kids grew up with the Muppets, but I'm not buying the Muppet um, Scentsy Buddies, so I just bought the wax. So like I said, very detailed, very cute packaging. And then here we go, green and there. This is my first authentic sniff of the Muppets. Um, so we'll see how I like it. Okay, different. I'm not liking it so far. Ooh. What did they do to this one? This should have been like lemon, lime, and something else. That's what I would have put in here, but no. It smells like old shoes. I have three bars of this. Hopefully it warms better than it smells. What is it supposed to smell like? I'm really surprised. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. Show stopping, sparkling mel melon, cherry berry, and sunny Valencia orange dazzle the applauding audience with while creamy vanilla soothes even the crankiest hecklers in the building. I don't get any of this. I get like a musk kind of, I really wanted the berries and the citrus and everything else. <sighs> Sorry, I can't get behind this. I'm going to have to warm this. This is weird. I'm going to see if it's just my nose. Yeah, same thing. So tell me down below what you think of the Muppets um, wax. Right now, I don't like it. Um, it's not overly strong, it's kind of light, and it's nothing what they had described it. To me, it smells like old shoes, <laughs> to be honest. Isn't that awful? And then, ta-da, my half-off item was a blue grotto brick. So here's how big the brick is. Here's the cubes. And here we go. They re Sensi really needs to start looking into giving bricks, as far as I'm concerned, to some of the other regions that don't get these. They get the bars if they're lucky, like the um, UK would would love these, as well as Australia. So if you're listening, Sensi, try to come up with a way that they can get bricks 
bricks are phenomenal. I love bricks. You can't, I can't say enough about bricks. Um, they're a money saver and they feel out of place, out of the loop when we show the bricks and they can't get any. But then, oh well, we'll see. It's a lot of red tape to get some of these products over to other regions or other countries, but you would think that they would come up with a way to send over bricks. So that's just my opinion. I'm all for bricks for all the regions, but what do I know? I'm not running Sensei. <laughs> I'm just a consultant. So thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me going over my Sensei Club um, subscriptions. I hope you learned a little bit. Um, I hope um, I've shown you some products that you haven't been familiar before, especially if you're a new customer. You have no clue where to start um, or, or what to order sometimes. Sometimes it's just scent preferences. So like me, when I first started, I knew I loved floral scents. So I went right away with um, lilacs and violets. And then I fell in love with that one. And from there, I just grew. I um, listened to other con consultants, Sensi Consultants um, channels. And I got a grasp of who had a similar nose to me. And I just tried stuff on their recommendation. And for the most, they were right. And I enjoyed everything that I actually bought. There's been some duds that I've been really disappointed with. So... That's about it. So like and subscribe if you want to see more videos um, to help me grow my channel. And the weather here has been rainy, cold, gloomy, windy. Today it's still gloomy and a little bit cold. I'm not complaining about the cold. I love the cold. But I was out yesterday and I got wet. Like I forgot to take a coat. And so everywhere I went, I was kind of like wet, like that drizzly kind of wet. So yuck. So I can see where cold's going to happen. <laughs> My fault. But anyways, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Take care. Catch you on the lip. Catch you on the, the flip side, not the lift side. <laughs> Bye for now.